as regards the second point you make, which I'd like to speak to, if that's all right, um, regarding, well, you know, science is the only thing that took, that showed us that, you know, that enabled us to say, I don't know. I very much disagree with that. So in my opinion, the, the fundamental characterization, Armin, you said this earlier, like, well, you're just reiterating what the scientific method is, you know, applying it to religion. Well, mm. actually, in my view, and our understanding of religion, the only difference between science and religion is that religion is beautifully explained by a single verse of the Quran, which is that eyes cannot reach God, but he reaches the eyes. And he is the incomprehensible, the all-aware. Well, the most subtle and the all-aware. Yeah, so al-latif, al-latif al-khabir, right? Al yeah, al-latif al-khabir. And, and, and the first part, eyes cannot reach him, that's actually a description of the scientific method. The scientific method is effectively the systematization of uh, observed phenomena. That's all it through is. Physical sense. Through your physical senses. It's a systematization of observed phenomena and the conclusions you draw from that. Now, yeah. with respect to religion, um, religion is ultimately um, a recognition that God lies outside the boundary of our ability to physically observe. And therefore, it is, it is, it begins with an acknowledging that I cannot reach God. I need God to reach me. And so the, the idea of oh, science is the only thing that taught us that I don't know. No, religion is the first thing that taught you that. Because religion begins with humility. It begins with recognizing, I can't reach God. I need Wait, God sorry, to reach himself sorry, to me. Say that again. What is it that science haven't ta uh, taught us and religion has? So, so science is not the one that taught us I don't, the word I don't know. Religion mm -hmm. begins with that. So the beginning of chapter Surah Al-Mu'minun, the believers of the Quran, begins with successful are the believers who are humble in their prayers. In other words, they stand before God and they say, I Oh, we lost connection. Do we lose connection? Do we, do we need to repeat Wait. that, that phrase? Yeah, repeat that last word, okay. Sorry, I do apologize. I'll, I'll, I'll stop and then I'll stop. Um, so what I'm saying is, is that the, um, the basis of religion is actually humility and recognizing you cannot reach God of your own accord. And that's the key of Surah Fatiha, which is Thee alone do we worship and thee alone do we implore for help. We ask him you to manifest yourself to us because we can't reach And then we, we detect God not through our physical senses, but through our spiritual senses. God then activates our soul and our spiritual awareness. And therefore we get a new form of evidence blossoming within us with, through revelation and similar phenomena. You, know, you, yeah. do, you do, no, no, Ali, you, mm -hmm. Ali, you give essays, I give sentences. That's not fair. Uh, <laughs> essays are fine. This is what it is. <laughs> I got but, this. Is, uh, I think you guys are gonna go totally because we're uh, this infighting is just gonna destroy us, Armin. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Everything uh, is, yeah. But, no, I'm kidding. No, but every I'm podcast, just... it. <laughs> this but, is good for you guys. We talk for a bit, please. Uh, no, but, but but I I I do think like you guys take verses that don't necessarily mean specific like specifically what you want it to mean, and you just make decide that it means the things that you want them to mean. I mean, okay, like. The verse that mentions, like, you, there's verse that might suggest some humility, right? Yeah, I, if I read it, like, yeah, okay, this verse does suggest humility. But humility doesn't necessarily mean that you have to say, I don't know. Um, in fact, the Quran constantly requires you to not say, I don't know. You have to be certain about, like, I don't know is not promoted anywhere in the Quran. Humility is promoted in the Quran, but I don't, the, saying I don't know is not promoted anywhere in the Quran. So just because humility is there, and there's a lot of other verses that I think like you guys look at, that you have to really stretch it and massage it in a way that you let, want to actually fit your ph philosophy. You have to you Protestantize I mean? it, it in a way this yeah. feels like you're, it's a Protestant version of Islam, which is a. But anyway, Armin, go ahead. No, no, no. Yeah. Okay. Your, that's your sort of what, what, that's, that I wanted to make a point, but just to be clear about what you, what you guys are saying. So basically, to you, religion, and I hope you understand that this is your definition of religion, and it might not be most religious people's understanding of religion. Um, is that so you have the scientific method like the, it starts with something that is basically the scientific method you only go as far as ev what evidence can uh, give you and you increase your probability uh, in believing in something based on evidence but religion just has one extra step compared to the scientific method where god all, at the end of the road god re comes to you instead of you going all the way to certainty is that is that basically the difference between religion and science I'll give a really quick answer, and that's simply this, that not quite. Mm. It's, science is about what you're able to observe. 
Mm. I can go out and I can look at a leaf and I can study it. I can go out, I can look at the sky, I can study it. Largely, yeah. Largely, okay? Even in science, there are lots of things actually you can't observe. Dark energy, dark <coughs> matter, make up, dark energy and dark well, matter make up 95% of the universe, yet we still believe in it. But that's basically largely the scientific method is observable phenomena. God is not observable. Religion is the systematization of what you need to do to get God to manifest himself to you. And to bring him into your own observation then. So it's and a how do you unveil himself initially, and then he unveils himself? So let's say let's say you do some things, and then eventually God manifests himself to you. How do you realize that this is the, the this manifestation of God is based on objective reality, okay. and nothing right. nothing more than just a personal experience? How do Absolutely. you decide? That's a great that's a great question. At the end of the day, God might, might tell you that he loves you. He might tell you, you know. Um, things that are lovely and fuzzy and you you know they're not actually objective evidences objective evidence is when god can, tells you which university you're going to go to he tells you um, um what's going to happen in a month with your health god tells you something which is outside the boundary of your own knowledge god tells you for example that the exam you've passed actually in a week's time you're going to get a letter which is going to say actually the boundary and the pass mark has changed and you you're going to pass now when that happens Five, two times in your life, you might think, pure coincidence, I just dreamt it up. When it happens 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 times in the space of mm. 10 years, is no longer a question of, oh, I believe. You'd have to be an idiot not to believe. And, and actually, this is out what, of that experience. This is what the companions of the prophets, because they are the ones who follow the prophets most closely. They themselves had these experiences and they talked about it. And we have records of them talking about their true dreams and their experiences, and they see their own prophecies being fulfilled. So this is ultimately what true religion, we believe, gets you to. The problem in the world is that religion, religion has become degenerate. Religion has become decadent in any way. It's often become just a uh, something which is used to exploit people. Its spiritual essence is completely left. And so people aren't even aware that such fruits can still exist. So, so wait a minute. The, the creator of the universe proves, uh, like, manifests himself to us by, like, Something similar to like, is this your card or like, is that <laughs> like, is it like a, is it some magic tricks that is supposed to impress us? I was like, oh, wow, you predicted. Okay, Armin, like, let, me put it like this. let me put it like this, Armin. So let's say, um, let's say um, uh, one of your, or you've got a friend called Fred and uh, God tells you Fred's going to develop cancer uh, in, uh, in one week's time. And then in two weeks time, Fred comes to you and says to you, Armin, I've got cancer. Mm -hmm. Suppose now that level of event happened to you ten times over the next. Not even once. Well, no, say say it happened ten times over the next five years to you, and yeah. in each time it was it was clearly in in your dream or in your vision it was an angel of God who comes and tells you that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Would you believe in God? No, I would think like something really bizarre is happening, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> then, yeah. then your atheism is unfalsifiable. Then yeah, can I? Unfalsifiable. No, 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 wait. Yeah. No, wait, why would it be God? Why wouldn't it be something else? Why it would, would like... be some kind of conscious being that has access to your inner consciousness, which knows the okay. future, right? So and why would that be? Why would that? Okay, so I, I would realize that something very bizarre is happening, and I, but I wouldn't go as far as knowing what is happening. Armin, then that's fine. You know that's, you'd say, I don't know. Most people would say, most people would probably say, yes, okay, I'd accept that I should believe in God, at least. Even no, if I don't, but really, but, but, do you, do, but do you not see why my position is more intellectually honest? No. Why would that be proving, why would that prove God? Because why would God, that prove? Because, because God is the only thing in, in societal knowledge which has said to be able to fit that criteria. If you have any and, other thing... Then feel Are we people. going but okay, but societal knowledge, that's not a very good metric though, is it? Like that's not a very you good have, standard. You huh? have history, you have uh, loads of individuals who throughout history have said that a God has contacted me, who has given me knowledge of the future, here's the evidence. The people followed him, they claim spiritual experiences for themselves. And then you, whether or not you did spiritual practices, you had a similar experience in your own life. I think it would be highly irrational to assume can, can I can I how do you know it wasn't a demon or a leprechaun or I don't know? Okay. The question isn't the label, but the that's characteristics which are usually ascribed to the being called God. 